Hello everyone and welcome to Connect, Learn and Grow Together with Janice. And today where our learning experience is going to be making banana chocolate chip muffins, a favorite in our house. Um, and then you can certainly control what you put in it as far as how many chocolate chips and how much sugar. Um, so whatever is best for your family. Of course the first thing is wash your hands and uh, let's get started. So we're going to start with ripe overripe bananas and so for this recipe you will need to have at least four three or four overripe bananas and I like to when I peel them I like to break them into smaller pieces it just is quicker to beat them to to um, a liquefied state okay so in this case these bananas are quite small so I'm going to use four bananas okay and I'm going to put them into a smaller bowl, not the bowl that I will be mixing in, just a secondary bowl, um, a, a little bit smaller would do fine. Okay, and our last banana, and these are really good overripe bananas. <laughs> They've seen better days for sure. Okay, we'll put that one in. Okay. And then, because I don't like lumps in my muffins, why I'm going to do a really good job of beating them down and breaking them down um, so that there aren't any lumps. Um, usually kids don't like lumps in things either, so it might be a good idea to try to break them up as best that you can. Okay? And while we're um, beating up those bananas and getting them to a more liquefied or cream state, um, I would like to tell you what else you're going to need for this recipe. Okay, so you'll need one egg, you'll need um, a quarter of a cup of cooking oil, um, which could be salad oil or olive oil, your choice. Um, you also need two cups of flour, one quarter of a cup of sugar, or you can put less in because we are adding chocolate chips to this, so that's quite a bit of sugar. So you could put even, you know, an eighth of a cup in and that would still be just fine. And then we're going to add three teaspoons of baking powder and then one teaspoon of salt. And again, with the salt, you can decrease it um, so that it it is um, not that much because, uh, of course, salt isn't good for people either. Okay, so I am creaming it. And I'll just show you. I'm trying to mix it as well as I can and get all the lumps out. And, and then stirring and getting all those final lumps out. Okay. All right. So that's good. Now, some other things that you will need for this recipe is, of course, a fork, a teaspoon, a spatula, and some kind of a serving spoon to dip it out and put it in the um, muffin trays. Now, for, the, for this particular recipe, I usually make mini muffins, but you can do mini muffins or regular size, and I'll give you the cooking instructions for both. Okay, so once we get all those creamed, we can put that aside, and then we'll work on our main bowl. Okay, so first of all, you're going to take your egg and break it and put it in to your bowl. And then you're going to use your fork to beat that before you add anything else to it. So you're beating it so that it gets a little bit frothy. So I'll show you again. There we go. A little bit frothy. Okay. And now we are going to add our oil, which was that quarter cup of oil. So we'll put that in. Okay. And then we are going to add our um, cup of milk and put that in and then we're going to combine all those ingredients so that they're well mixed together okay that's what it looks like not too exciting uh, and then we're going to start adding all of the rest of the ingredients all go in together 
and we don't stir each time we just put all the ingredients in and then we stir everything together because you stir for muffins it's best to stir the least amount as possible so you just want to get it mixed and then stop stirring okay so next we are going to add two cups of flour And then, like I mentioned, the quarter cup of sugar, this is actually an um, uh, eighth of a cup of sugar uh, because we are putting the chocolate chips in. So, But a quarter cup is what the recipe calls for. Uh, and then uh, we will be doing three teaspoons of baking powder. One, two, three okay and then salt and so we again the recipe calls for a teaspoon but you don't need to put that much in if you don't want to okay great and then we mustn't forget our chocolate chips so it's about half to three quarters of a cup of chocolate chips in there and then lastly of course our bananas so you just put all of that in there wonderful and now we're going to stir it all together so you use a motion that's stirring from the bottom and bringing it up you want to make sure you're moistening all the flour. You don't want muffins that have a little spot of dried flour on the top of them. That doesn't look too yummy to eat. Um, and so you just keep mixing until you've got all that flour moistened. And don't forget to bring it up from the bottom of the bowl so you can make sure that you didn't miss any of the flour. Okay. There we go. And then this is what it looks like when it's all mixed together. Okay, now, we would put it into either the regular sized uh, muffin tins, or we can use the smaller size mini ones, which is what I use. Um, as far as your yield for what you get for them, the, mi the mi mini ones, you get about three dozen from this recipe and for the larger regular size muffins you get about a dozen or a dozen and a half depending on how much how full you how full you fill them now i use pam you can use butter wiped on the inside of the pan anything you anything that would stop it from sticking would be great so just put some pam on the pan so that it won't stick and then using my um serving spoon i would put them in and i wouldn't fill it uh i wouldn't fill it all the way to the top i would just fill it about three quarters full and that way they just puff up just nice to the top okay and so you're filling it about like that okay not completely full and then you put it in the oven for the mini ones, you cook them at 350, and for the full-size ones, you cook them at 400. For the mini ones, it's 18 minutes at 350 or until they're golden brown on the top, and for the um, full-size ones, it's 400 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes until they're golden brown as well. And when you're done, this is what the finished muffins look like and they're very tasty and very uh just the right size for kids and then if you're doing the full size muffins they look like this so that's pretty well it you can use this recipe to make different kinds of other muffins i have before not put the chocolate chips and banana in and put apple and cinnamon in and that's worked really great and that's especially good in the fall I also have done ones where I don't put any fruit in, but I put jam in the middle. So when the child opens the muffins, there's jam in the middle of it. So it's a great surprise. So hopefully you can find something here that your kids will like. And isn't banana chocolate chip muffins a comfort food? It isn't comfort what we need right now. So thanks for coming today and being part of this. And I wish you good luck in your muffin making.
Bye.